Hey everyone, Joffrey here and welcome back again to my channel where I review the latest and greatest gadgets and gizmos. Today, let's take a look at the Vivo V29 Lite 5G, a new mid-range smartphone from Vivo that promises to offer a great performance, a stunning display, and a decent camera. But the question is, is it worth buying? Come on guys, join with me and let's find it out. But before that guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss all my latest gadget reviews. Let's get started. Let's start with the design and build quality. The Vivo V29 Lite has a sleek and elegant design. The phone feels solid and comfortable in hand. It weighs 177 grams and 7.9 mm thickness. The frame and the back are made from plastic but I like the color texture. It is shiny matte finish which is smudges free and it's changing the colors depending on the angle and lighting condition. It comes in two colors, black and gold. Of course, definitely gold will stand out here. At the right side, here are the power button along with the volume rocker, a USB-C port, speaker grills, one microphone and SIM tray at the bottom. At the left side, nothing here and one microphone on top for noise cancelling. Moving on to the display, it has a 6.78 inch AMOLED display with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixel Full HD+, a refresh rate of 120Hz, 388 ppi, and a peak brightness of 1300 nits. The display is curved on the edges, giving it a premium look and feel. Honestly, I like the display of this phone, it is so sharp and crystal clear, allowing you to enjoy watching movies or playing games. Additionally, the screen to body ratio is 90.3% which means there are thin bezels around the display. There is also a small punch hole cutout on the top left corner for the selfie camera. Under the hood, the Vivo V29 Lite 5G is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 695, a 6nm chipset which is an octa-core processor with a clock speed of 2.2GHz combined with Adreno 619L GPU for graphics performance. For me, this CPU is a bit old to use on this 2023 smartphone. If this phone having 7 Gen 1 CPU, it would be more powerful. The phone has 12GB of dedicated RAM plus 8GB of virtual RAM expansion to help boost the performance especially if you are opening multiple applications at the same time and 256GB of internal storage, but there is no option to expand the storage with a micro SD card. The phone runs on Android 13 out of the box with Fun Touch OS 13 on top of it, which is Vivo's custom skin that offers some additional features and customization options. Moreover, in terms of the camera, this phone has a triple camera setup on the back, consisting of a 64 megapixel main camera with f1.8 aperture, a face detection autofocus, and OIS, a 2 megapixel macro camera with an f2.4 aperture, and a 2 megapixel depth camera sensor with f2.4 aperture as well. The main camera can only record videos at up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second. There is also LED flash, HDR, and panorama modes. On the front, there is a 16 megapixel selfie camera with an f2.5 aperture that can also record videos at up to 1080p resolution at 60 frames per second. Finally, now let's move on to the battery performance. The Vivo V29 Lite has a large 5000 mAh battery that supports up to 44 watts fast charging via USB Type-C port. Additionally, the phone also has a fingerprint sensor under the display, an accelerometer, a gyro, a proximity sensor, a compass, NFC, dual SIM support, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, a GPS and IP54 rating for dust and splash resistant. But unfortunately, the phone doesn't have a 3.5 headphone jack option. The Vivo V29 Lite is priced at 1,299 dirhams here in Dubai, which is quite competitive for its specifications. So without further ado, let me tell you my final verdict. 
This Vivo V29 Lite 5G is a good smartphone for those who value the display quality, battery life, more RAM options, and camera stability over other aspects. However, if you're looking for more versatility in terms of powerful CPU or higher charging features, you might want to consider other options in this price range. Alright guys, that's it for this review of the Vivo V29 Lite 5G. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tech reviews like this. Also, let me know what you think of this phone in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.